Okay, uh, this tutorial is uh, part of a series. If you haven't watched the introduction to the series, uh, go ahead and do that. Hopefully I remember to put an annotation up on the screen for the entire playlist. But basically, uh, this is something new I'm trying. I'm going to create a script or a program, and uh, this week I'm going to show how you write the same program in different languages. Uh, in this case, we're going to be working with Bash or Shell Scripts today, and we're going to be working with a uh, dice game that uh, I explained in the intro video uh, called Toss Up, where you have a six-sided dice, and you, they have one red side, two yellow sides, and three green sides. Um, and basically, at any point, uh, you roll, you have up to ten dice, and um, anytime you roll the dice, uh, as long as you have green you're good green will give you points yellow are kind of neutral and red are bad if you don't have any green I explain all this probably better in the intro um, but the question is as you roll the dice uh, you take your greens away so you have less dice to roll so as we go along I want to know what are my odds of rolling of losing or winning when I roll a certain number of dice so we're just going to write a quick little bash script that does just that. So I'm going to use Vim as my text editor. Um, and I, but you can use whatever text editor you'd like. I am going to start off with my, let's make that a little bit bigger, uh, shebang line here, telling my operating system to use the bash interpreter that this is a bash script. Next, we're going to create three variables. First, I'm going to say let win equals zero. The let part lets uh, Bash know that this is going to be an integer, that we're going to be using it as a number. Uh, and then let lose equals zero. And that these are the variables we'll use to count the number of wins and the number of losses. Um, next, we're going to create an empty variable called x. Then we're going to start, and uh, depending on whether the user gives input at the beginning or not, uh, as an argument to the command, we're either going to go with those arguments or ask the information needed. Basically, we need to know how many dice you want to roll and uh, the number of rolls you want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to use an if-then statement. We're going to say if, and we're going to say dollar sign pound here dash LT for less than two. So what this is saying is the if the number of arguments, so dollar sign, uh, pound, or number symbol, whatever you call it in your country, um, if that, that is the number of arguments. So if the number of arguments is less than two, then we're going to do something here. And um, if it's less than two, then we need to ask for the information, the number of rolls, and the number of dice. Um, I'm just going to finish out my if then statement. So if we don't give it the information at the time of rolling or time of running the program, we need to ask echo how many times to do you want to roll? So, and then we're going to put that into a variable here. We'll say read the user's input and put it to a variable called roles. Next, we'll ask it echo how many dice do you want to roll? And once again, we'll read the user's input and we'll put that into a variable called dice num for the number of dice. But of course, if the user gave that information at the time of uh, running the script, uh, we can just grab that information. Uh, so I'm going to say roles equals one, so the first argument, and dice num equals the second argument. Now, really, we probably should. Um, give, make some sort of help file or some sort of output telling the user, you know, how to input that information. But it doesn't really matter. This is just an example, you know, tutorial. And uh, if they don't give that information, then it will ask for it. So I'm not going to worry too much about that in this tutorial. Next, we're going to create an array. 
and that array will be each side of the dice. So there's six sides to each, each die, one red, two yellow, and three green. So we're going to say red, yellow, 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 green, green, and green. Great. So we've created our die, or our dice, depending on how many we're going to roll, each with six sides. So now we're going to say four, and I'm going to use a variable i in, and then we're going to pass it the output of sequencer, or not sequencer, se this, uh, this command will give us the output of one through the number of dice. So it's doing a sequence for each loop. It's going to start at one, and it's going to keep looping until it reaches the max number of dice, which in the actual game, the max you can have is 10. But in this script, I guess you could do any number you want. Now, for each loop, we are going to run a another four. We're going to say four, and we'll give it a variable I'll say y in. And we're going to get the output of our sequence again. We'll once again start at one. Oh, you know what? Let me change that. We're going to first do the number of rolls. Then we will do the number of dice. So this and this are the variables that we retrieved either up here or as arguments. And now we're going to say do done. So each time we roll we are also going to roll the dice. That's basically what we're doing. And then we're going to say x, which is the empty variable we create up top. We're going to say x equals um, uh, whatever x ori equals. And dice the uh, array of dice, and then we need to grab a side of the die. So the die is six sides, uh, but arrays and most things in computer languages, we start with zero, which is the way it should be. So we want to start from zero and uh, go through five. So we're going to say uh, roll the die. Uh, so we're looking at the array here, and we're going to say dollar sign random percent five and then close those and we'll put a comma there oh, comma there so we're rolling the die and by the way we're doing that is we're getting the value of x which currently is nothing the first time we roll and we're gonna say look at the array of die uh, dice and then we're going to grab a random number from 0 through 5, which would be one side of the die. So each time we roll, we're going to get a different output. And we are going to uh, basically put those all on a line here in a second. So now that we have the value of x, uh, we have the, I'm trying to explain this well, the number of dice, the number of rolls, and then the number of dice. So it's going to do that, and it's going to make a line um, that is the number of rolls. Um, I'm oh, sorry, number of dice. I could do a better job of explaining this. Let's see. Okay, get in the game here, Chris. Okay, dollar sign X. So we're going, we're going to show the output of that on the screen. So each time we roll, we're going to show the output of that roll, depending on how many dice it is. So we'll roll once, and if we're rolling three di dice, we're going to have a line with three outputs of red, yellow, or green. And then we're going to display that. And then we're going to create another variable called outcome equals. And then we're going to say echo. We're passing it the command echo dollar sign x. And we're going to grep. Grep. Okay, if I can type grep red. Pipe that into grep dash v green. So what we're doing here is we're taking the line, the, the roll, whether it's of one die or ten dice, and we're going to check each check, check that roll. Did we roll any reds? And then we're going to say, are there no greens? 
because if there is red and no green, so the V is a reverse search, um, we could, we're going to lose if we, if that's true. So we're going to say if dollar sign outcome equals nothing, then let win, the number of wins equals itself plus one. So it starts off at zero. If we win now, we're going to add one to that. And then next time if we win, we'll add one to that. Else, let lose plus equal one. And then we're gonna say, uh, close our if statement. And then we're going to reset x back to being blank. So I don't think I did a great job of explaining that while we were going through it, so I'm going to try to explain it better here. Okay, so we're going to say, how many times are we going to roll? And we're going to loop for each time, and that's based on the user input either here uh, with the arguments or when they ac answer this question of how many rolls we want. Now, each time we roll, we need to roll a certain number of dice. Once again, that's what we get from the user input here or here. So we might be rolling one die or ten dice. We're going to grab a random side of that die, uh, of each die, and that's uh, this array here. So we're grabbing from 0 through 5, a randomly each time. And then we're checking, are there any red li lines that have red but no green? Because that would be a loss. Um, so if there, if there are, there would be a value in here. So if there's a value we would lose. If not, then we win and we add to it each time. And then we clear out X. So now we just need, we have our output going as far as each roll, but now let's output the number of wins and number of losses. So I'm going to say echo, and I'll just do a little dividing line here. And then I'll say echo wins equals dollar sign win, which is our, win vari our wins variable. We're going to say echo losses equals dollar sign loss and that's it that's our whole script let's run it make sure I did everything properly okay here we go we're going to run it it's going to ask how many times let's so say do you that's a typo do you want to roll we'll say a hundred times and it says how many dice do you want to roll we'll say five and we'll run it and you can see this is each roll. Each time we roll, we rolled 100 times, you get five outputs because we rolled five dice. And at the very end, you can see that we would win 69% of the or 96% of the time, and uh, we would lose 4% of the time. So continuing the game, if you have five dice to roll, the odds are with you. We'll run it again, and we'll say how many times, how many, uh, times you want to roll we'll say 100 again and uh, we'll say how many dice do you want to roll let's say we only had one die to roll or we'll do that and as you can see um, you start to lose more and uh, of course we say we can add arguments to this so I can say uh, here uh, we'll roll one time uh, I'm sorry we'll roll a hundred times one die and if we do that a number of times, you have a different output, obviously, because it is random, well, as random as a computer can generate. And you'll see, it looks like if you only have one die, you have a 20% approximately chance of losing. Let's add this up to a thousand rolls, see uh, if we get similar numbers. So we're rolling it a thousand times. And we're still getting about 18% loss there. We'll roll it again, the same thing. There we got about 19% loss. So let's say we're going to roll three die, or three dice, a thousand times. Our chances looks like uh, went down that roll about 13% chance to 14% chance of lo losing. There's about 15. So um, you can see this game, the odds are pretty much always with you. So uh, uh, if once again, if you haven't watched the beginning tutorial, I explain the how the game works. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me go in here, Vim, and uh, fix my typo here. How many times do you want to roll? 
Um, sorry if I got a little discombobulated in the middle of uh, writing out the program there. Uh, but I hope I explained it all well by the end. And uh, we're going to do the same similar program uh, in a few other languages as the week goes on. Probably C and uh, JavaScript are probably two of the languages we're going to do. So once again, check out those tutorials and uh, see how I would do them different. I am not very good at C programming at all. Um, but I did come up with a solution to this. And uh, I just thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. As well as, if I haven't forgotten, a link to this, this script. So you can uh, you know copy and paste it if you want. But I recommend typing it out. Uh, and I uh, would just thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. <laughs>